Podcast. I am Tank. This is Jay Valentine. We are the authorities on R and B, and in the building, my dog. Come on now, too much hair waving from side to side. Oh, a lot of goddamn hair. <laughs> Let me get that that is a whole lot of hair. Better. From you Valentine, know. not related to Jay Valentine. Okay, not Let's related. get this out of the way. I, I, you know what's so crazy? For sure. I don't know. Should we do the tree? <laughs> <laughs> Should we check the Listen, roots? You can check everything. Let me check now. the roots. I'm just check kidding. everything now. Yeah. So how do how do we get Valentine? Um, I wow, that that was probably a drunk night. Um, oh, just sound good. You know what I mean? I think that uh, at first it was just Valentine. Everybody mm. would call me Valentine. It's like, oh, she's so she's so lovable and lovey and whatever, like a little mm. Valentine, you know. And I, my Southern hospitality in LA was like really like a Valentine's Day card, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, Brooke is is my name. My mom named me Brooke. My name is Nicole Brooke. <clears throat> Nicole. Oh, yeah. She's a Nicole. Hey, but listen, <laughs> but no, but listen, that's actually reversed though, because Nicole is usually 95% of black girls' middle name. True. In the hood. True, very true. If I mean, where the Nicole's at? Like, if ain't no Nicole's in here, then something ain't right. No, it's definitely yeah, <laughs> ain't no Nicole's. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Nicole to, is definitely to, the black girl middle middle name. Had to keep so the you Brooke, got as a first Valentine. Name. Yeah, and okay. it just it just worked out. It just sound good, rolled off the tongue. You know, I had did a little showcase, and um, they asked me what my name was, and I tried it out on them, and they was like, "Oh, that's amazing." And I was like, "Okay, that's it." That's dope. That's dope. When I met Jay, and he said his name was Jay Valentine. I was concerned. <laughs> no, I was just a little jealous. <laughs> just jealous. I was like, wow. That's an R and B name. Okay. Here I am. Tank. Tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My story my story ain't like yours, but you know what? It's you not about me. Share? Okay. It's not about me. Okay. No, no, no. You know, I, I had to change mine. Okay. They were, they I had were, you to know, had to run yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not run off. No, no, not run off. We're going to get him in the yeah. seat one day. Okay. And then. <laughs> a whole other I'm going to sit over there, though. Yeah, we'll I want to be here for that. Yeah, we, you, you got okay, to hear this. Okay, to be continued it's, it's on that. Thing. So what we like to do is we really like to, we really like to start from the beginning. You family. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. we like to act like we just meeting you for the first right, time. Right, yeah. right. Ooh, and the we beginning. Need, we need the, the, the historical yeah, we need the journey. We need the journey. all of this started. Like, where did the inspiration start? Where did the. The understanding of I have a gift, I can do this. Start. I know people watching like get to girl fight. No. Get to fight. <laughs> oh, what fight. made you do it? We're gonna fight. You're gonna fight. You're gonna fight. <laughs> but but oh. you know mm-hmm. how did how did we and then coming from Houston? Oh yeah. To L.A. Houston, what Texas was, girl what, for what sure. was the inspiration behind that okay. voyage and all the way to now to where you do a bunch of stuff? You're multimedia at this point. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hello. She poses for the pictures. Come on. Okay. Man. Yeah, I, mean, Come I, I see the pictures. So, the the pictures. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, to start. Um, in Houston, Texas, of course. Um, I came from a family that weren't. They wasn't really about the music. It was like, mm-hmm. that's a. Not even a dream. They just they. It was just something that didn't exist to my family. No one had. No one had ever done it. Mm-hmm. Ever. Okay. You know what I mean? It was a major joke. I feel like when I watch what's the little movie for the kids, Coco, like don't sing. <laughs> that is not mm-hmm. gonna work. So, it was my grandmother that would actually like entertain this idea that I had. I remember in the heat of the night. From like show, what age? In the heat. <laughs> um, oh, nah. mm-hmm. Yep. 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 I was 11 okay. once I actually okay. started singing out loud. You right. know, I would mm-hmm. sing privately and, you know, by myself all the time. So around 11, I was singing in the heat of the night when it was, you know, coming on. And my grandmother was like. <laughs> it was just one line. <laughs> my grandmother was like, what's, what's going on? And uh, she really sang that thing, you know. Yeah. And I was like, really? You like that? So time passed, and then she called me up one time to sing in church. I was like, oh, my God. Like, she was like, no, you can do this, baby. Trust me, you can do this. Went up there, his eyes on a sparrow, everybody to death, okay? 
Mm. Sunday after Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. Oh, so now you belong to the church. After right. That. But okay. it's a little church. All right. All right. It's about 10 people at the church. It's my Store grandmother's. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's my yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. No, it was a storefront for yeah. real. Like y'all. Like, oh, and it's your grandmother's church. My grandmother's church. Oh, so they um, couldn't even tell her you can't bring Well, she was the mother of the here. church. And it was, y'all know Houston is, um, Nigeria and Houston have come together in such a way. So it was really? a Nigerian church. Oh, yes. Definitely. I didn't know that. Didn't know that. Oh, for sure. And then every Learn woman in my family ran off and married a Nigerian man. So this was a major part of me. You know what I mean? Uh, I thought I was Nigerian for the longest time. Um, oh, I had to. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was a thing. I was told I had to marry a Nigerian man. But we what? Had to, we'll have to put my mom in this seat for her okay, to explain yeah, that yeah, to yeah, y'all. Yeah, we'll get to it, it was okay. like, you go right. out there and you find you a nice Nigerian man. <laughs> okay. All right. She said, oh, Nigerians is cracking. Or a light skin with good hair. In Houston. It's up to hmm. you. You know, because the baby got to have good hair. Okay. Don't bring no nappy hair, baby. Oh, oh shit. Okay. That's what I said. So it's Nigerian church. I'm singing for my grandmother. My mom and it, everybody just thinks it's hilarious. Like, ah, ha, ha. She's singing. This is a joke or whatever. So for, because of that energy, I started hiding it. I met, um, back then they called him Deja the Great. Um, he was connected to a, Dino and Shazam from H-Town. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I met him, and he was, you know, very, he was in the music industry already, so that was something new for me. Like, wow, you really be at the studio? Like, you press a button, and then your voice come out, the thing? And, like, that was amazing to me. So at this point, I am uh, 14, 14, 15, maybe. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to the studio with him. I'm catching a the vibe. They laughing at me because I'm young. They, you know, laughing at me. I'm, she young. I don't know what she, you know, she thinks she could sing or whatever. So... I made the decision to lie up a little bit. All right, well, I'm 17 then. Cool. That didn't work. Ran across some homies from Rap A Lot Records. Okay. They was like, sing something. Sung something. They was like, you want to do some hooks? I said, I don't know what that means. But <laughs> <laughs> They said, we're going to send you a taxi. Wasn't no Uber back then, okay? Right, right. We're going to send you a taxi. They sent me a taxi. I ended up at Rap A Lot Records singing hooks for everybody. It was a work for hire. I remember all them little papers I was signing. Yeah, yeah. They would give me $100. Wow. Work for hire, $100. $100. Work for hire, $100. Hooks. They told me I could stack. I said, I can stack? He was like, yeah, you good at stacking. I was like, I don't, know what I, I don't know what I'm doing in here, but it's working. Coming home with money, my mom mad. She's like, what's going on? My uncle. She was mad that she was coming home. That's she she wanted to know what you were selling. That's what she wanted to <laughs> know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My uncle. selling more than it, vocals. I get it. My uncle legit said, ain't no way anybody paying this little girl to sing anything in a real cold. studio he was like it's no way That's so my cold. mom her best friend jumped on that bandwagon my auntie everybody was like it's no way that this is happening like let me see but i'm like y'all come to the studio like come check me out they was like mm -mm. so they thought she was selling that thing they ain't know what my uncle did say i went, ran off to be a prostitute he did you know he, he did say that I'm still mad at you, Uncle. Somebody put you on the blade. He say, ain't no way, ain't no okay? Way. At the family functions, everybody looking at me like, mm -hmm. you know, it's I was really not. out there singing. You know, that's what started my relationship with um, Scarface, and I ended up doing a record with Scarface and Pimp C, and, yep. you know, like, they remember the little young Brooke that was, they called me Skittles. <laughs> or Butter, Skittles, Butter. Those were my two, uh, you know, names around the hood. They remember, I would come in there, They that's what they say, she stacked like butter. And I was like, oh, I like that. We can just she run with that. Like it's something about that South, man. Right? It's about the South. South. <laughs> it always yeah. got something got to do with some, pancakes. Yeah. Right. It always <laughs> got something yeah. to do with yeah. stack like butter. So it was butter or Skittles, depending on, if you was close to the family, it was Skittles. If you met me at, you know, around the studio, it was butter. And um, my mom had enough. Um, she was like, no more rap a lot. So I stopped going up there, I stopped doing hugs. Uh, I remember Jay Prince coming in the studio one time. And he was like, little girl, what's your name? And I was like, butter. And he was like, go home. <laughs> he, was just, he was like, who, who, whose idea was this? He was so, like, whose idea was it? What's going on? They was like, nah, for real, she can sing. Like, that's her on this record and this record. Right. He was like, ah, oh, you sound good. He said, like, but you got to come back in a couple of years. He was like, I don't feel comfortable with this. I can <laughs> already hear him now. Oh, yeah, he came. He was so, so well-spoken, just. I felt like he was in the darkness in the shadow, and I never really saw and him. He just came <laughs> and then one day he appeared. But I heard him. He said, little girl. He asked me what my name was, and I told him. And he still said, little girl, go home. He had his driver take me home. So <laughs> after that, I'm frustrated. I'm like, man, I thought I was on my way. I was about to right. get a deal. And I was venting to Deja at the time. That was his name, about it. 
And um, he was like, I'm going to start a girl group. I'm going to put you in it. So cool. That's when I did my first girl group. It was called Best Kept Secret. I'm sure that's on my Wikipedia or something like that. Best Kept Secret. Best Kept Secret, BKS. Mm. <laughs> and it was two other young ladies from around the way. And um, we uh, didn't work out. <laughs> it's terrible. So how long were you in the group? That group. <clears throat> oh, you were in multiple groups. That, uh, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. that group. I'm, I'm not okay. done. All right, all right. Okay. That group lasts for a secret. hot second because the guy that was in charge, you know, he, he, he treated us all like we was his girlfriend. So that, that did, it was jealousy okay. and envy and then things just, and how, was, how long did you do your verse? And how, why was you at the studio? That, and I was like, That's okay. Terrible. This ain't gonna work. Yeah. They we just started falling out the group and getting mad. R&B at each music. R&B music. R&B music. R&B music. Yeah, we'll take music. You know, like like I, I I can't even tell y'all what happened. Everybody always asks me why that little group broke up. Y'all had some potential. I don't know. Okay, so they run off. I'm on my own. He's like, don't worry. You know, everything's gonna work out for you. And I'm like, cool. So I'm just waiting. My mom kicked me out. One day we were at the studio. Um, I remember a friend getting up and looking out the window. Like, she was like, I'm going to run to the store. So she got up and she looked out the window. And then she just backed up and sat down. She was just looking nervous. I was like, yo, what's up? And she was like, um, uh, I ain't going to the store no more. And I'm like, what's what's wrong? Like, we are in the hood, sis. Like, if somebody's dead out there, you're going to have to let right, me know. Right, right. And she like, no, nah, ain't nobody dead out there. Your mom out there. And I'm like, what you talking she about? outside the studio. Yeah, mind you, I've never told, my mom never came to the studio, never wanted, like, they just thought it was funny. I looked outside. My mom didn't take my clothes out the dresser drawer. The whole dresser was out there. The Man. whole dress, two dressers, no. the dog, my dog tied to the dresser, my little snake. What? You got <laughs> a dog and a snake? I had a dog and a snake. <laughs> All my stuff out there. She trash bagged the rest of my stuff, and she's standing out there. And she said, since you think you a singer, figure it out. You want to be at the studio? Live at the studio. I'll never forget that line. That was the, probably one of my first love and hip hop moments right there. <laughs> <laughs> she was standing out there, yeah. and she had her best friend William, and he was no. like, mm-hmm. And my auntie was like, "You're a little nasty," and I was like, "I'm not twenty. I was still a virgin." I was like, "You guys, no, seriously, like I be singing and like people so like." So do you just think? Really didn't get it. Do you think it was the church background? Probably the church background, um, the lack of goals and and dreams and. We, my whole, they still in the hood, Jay. Like, right. they still no, but don't I'm sa- get But I'm it. saying, I'm saying that the, the side of it where they thinking that it's something bad. More so than it's like, okay, I get it being a pipe dream. Mm-hmm. Right. That's, a, that's one thing, right? But it being mm-hmm. like, if you think you're going to be at the studio, like the studio thing and this yeah. music thing. And it, like you said, and your uncle feeling like prostitution. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Straight like, up. All of these things thrown in. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if a part of that is the church, where it's like you're taught that I can see that from my mom's secular side Secular music, of it. secular yeah. music yeah. that, you know, obviously we all call R&B, mm-hmm. being this devil's music. True, because if I was at the church, at Bible, at, at church at, practice, at it wouldn't have been yeah, the same. Right, that's why I just wondered that. Because I'm, because... Um, I didn't think about that until this very that, moment. Me being from that place, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't start doing R&B music until... 96. Mm. That was two years out of high school. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I was, you know, I was the Bible toting, mm. tie wearing, little high derail. school kid, little Darrell. Little Darrell. <laughs> little Darrell gonna sing us something. Darrell gonna sing us. He got a selection. He got an A and B selection. Gotta <laughs> bring it back to the D. Amen. <laughs> so, you know, like it's and it's funny that you that that you had that interaction with your parents. My parents were were as supportive as they could be because they didn't understand it either. Right. Mm, mm-hmm. But I had a minister actually tell me, who lives with my frat brother, tell me, I hope you fail. Wow. So that you Whoa. can see that this is not God. What? That is so, that, oh my gosh. Have we left him tickets to any of the shows? No, we haven't. <laughs> I, was just, I was wondering, <laughs> I don't know yet. I was like, did I mean, is his name at Will Call? No, yeah, no, no, he literally said to me in front Damn. of the church. Oh, I, I hope oh, you, he had I the, hope you fail. It wasn't so a phone that, call. He so said in front of the so church. So you can come back to God. Mm. Did they have yeah. like a going away party for you? Like you was going to jail? No. That was it. <laughs> when you was going on tours? Because I was still going, you know, after my 97 tour with Genuine and all of that, I was still, you know, going back by my church and all of that yeah. stuff. And, um, you know, th- I think that kind of began the separation of me kind of being in the building. Mm-hmm. 
you know what I'm saying? Because the, the, the building and the things that happened in that building left a bad taste in mm. my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. So I think the torment I had that you experienced from your mom, mm-hmm. you know, outside of him, I actually had more of it internally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In wow. terms of understanding if this is where I was supposed to be and if this was the devil and if this was oh yeah it, it took me a minute to come to terms with i had been blessed mm-hmm. by the only person mm-hmm. who could bless me yeah you know what i'm saying to yeah. be able to write and sing my songs and travel the world and share my experiences through melody and through musicianship mm-hmm. and people connect and i, I didn't i didn't understand mm-hmm. that this was this wasn't nothing but god right right, right. And it took a minute for me to get it. So I know you down south too. Ooh. Like I was on the East Coast, man. Where down south, they don't they don't play about they was that like, church. You're supposed to be working. You're supposed to be working, bringing back, bringing money home, taking care of your sister. With the brother, money from music, which I was. No. no, you need to just go work a regular job. Something right. we can see. Yeah. You need a check stub. You know what I mean? So, so the interesting part for me to hear both of y'all stories mm-hmm. of what R&B music was to y'all family is the polar opposite, mm. right? Because in my family, it was the way to save us. Wow. Mm. So it's very interesting to hear the perspective of this is going to destroy you. That's interesting. All I heard was this is what's going to take you somewhere you've never been. This is what's going to take us out of here. Did that make you rebel from it? Or yes. See, I, yes. I was going to say that. Right? I feel because like if I grew up like that, I would be like, well, I'm, leave it me was, alone. It was, it was forced. Okay. It was forced upon me early on that, you know. Like, you got to sing. Yeah, you That's have to. Do. Like, yeah. I, my father would say, you can quit the group, but you still got to practice. Ooh. Like, how the fuck that thing? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, that does not make sense. <laughs> But it wasn't supposed to make sense. It was like, you know, because you, you want the reward for your work, right? What? Yes. So it's like, you want to hoop. If you shoot a whole bunch of jumpers in practice, you want to get in the game and shoot some jumpers. Yeah, so you do. You just don't want to shoot them just to You're be like, shooting Like, y'all going to hear these harmonies I've been right. practicing on. Right. So <laughs> for us, you know, coming, coming from where I came from, for me, I was in a space where, like you said, I kind of rebelled against it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Because it started so early mm-hmm. in my childhood where literally, you know, we were street performing when I was five. Wow. So that's why I always yeah, asked Yeah, he had age. an attitude. You know what I mean? So I, yeah, I don't want to sing. I don't want to <laughs> sing. But then I, I, I realized, too, very early on that me being a child actually gave us. I mean, we were all kids, cause they were, they, but they were five. My brothers were five years older mm-hmm. than me. But if I'm five, they're ten. It's something about the little, little one. Mm-hmm. So I was like, anything I do, it gets a reaction. Right. So then I start realizing, like, oh, there's a different light on me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to need some more money. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> really early on. I'm Michael. So I'm in- right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, I need a different type Jay of bike. Jay messed around and found out like, he was Michael. I need, I need Everybody stop. got, like, regular bikes. <laughs> I need the mongoose. I need the mongoose, baby. Listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. I ain't mad. But the reverse, like I said, the opposite for you guys, um, it's, it's always interesting to hear that that side of it because for me, like I said, it was it was something that was pushed on us early. Like, this mm-hmm. is going to change your life, our lives. Right. It's going to get us Dang. out. Wow. That's a different... That's a different yeah. type of pressure, too. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I'm here I now. I probably wouldn't want to do it. My now. life is different. My father was right. He saw something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um, <clears throat> I appreciate him for it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I definitely. And I, I wonder if I would have come from the church. Like, like how you guys grew up in church singing, we were taught by pimps. Hmm. Like, literally, the old pimp niggas that thought they could sing mm-hmm. were our vocal coaches. They're like, yeah, I'm going to put on this blue magic, baby. Oh. Like, nigga, blue so- magic. <laughs> I'm, am I singing? Stack like butter. <laughs> Like, am I, I going to sing the Delphine? Yes, you are. Right, yes, yes, you are. Wow. Yeah, fine. You sing <laughs> Cadillac? <Cal-like laughs> <you? Yeah. laughs> yeah. Papa was a rose. Right, right. Yeah, so, that. I, but, I, but I get it, though. I get it. I get it. And, and it's always, like I said, it's, it's just really interesting to, to hear that side of it. That, so you're yeah. in the studio. I'm at the studio. Your, your dresser. Everything's out your there. Dog and and your, your snake. And your snake. Yeah. My mama they outside, and your mama giving you 
and what's his name? William? William. William. Her friend William. William is giving William's doing that too? I got catfished oh, by yeah, William, but that's said. another story. That's my mama's best friend. <laughs> They're giving you that. All of that, my auntie, like, hmm. So I'm like, well, let me just gather my thing. I, you know, I did run out there and, mom, please. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I'll never forget begging for their blessing at that time like in the most desperate point of my life and what are you like, about 14 15 at that time? I maybe was, a little older ooh, at this point uh yeah. about to turn 16. Okay, okay like i mean days away from my 16th birthday so so you have been putting some time in because you said by yeah, 14 you was yeah like doing from, the hooks when you do your hundred that's a hooks. lot of time yeah. in houston where the circle's this big and you know i probably had about 10 hooks that was circulating at that time of course, it wasn't no name on it. <laughs> right, right. But it was like, you know, I can go back and listen to it like, is that me on there with the, yeah, that's my high <laughs> note. You know what I mean? So, got kicked out. Um, Deja at the time was like, they call him London now. And he was like, you can't stay with me. He was freaked out. He was like, listen, I know I said I'm going to start the girl group and I was going to help you, but I got girlfriends and you're not about to blow up my spot. With the he, ass on it. Yeah, and no. He, friends, okay? He let me, and I knew that. Going on. I knew that already. He was like, I got a whole life, and you know, this ain't going to work. So I couch hopped for, for a while, and his mom ended up moving to Texas from California, ironically. And she let me rent a room for $700 uh, for a little while. I did go back home and try to work things out with my mom. That lasted all of 17 hours because soon it was as soon as it was time for me to, like, Okay, mom, I want to go to the studio or, you know, do something. Mind you, I'm working. I have a job at the mall, and I'm running the money back home for my sister and brother. Like, whatever y'all need, let me know. I'm doing my mall job. But when I leave my mall job, if I go to school and do my mall job, I want to go to the studio, you guys. And I'm going to be home by 9. Like, give me a break. But you they getting didn't... all that in by 9? Yeah. School. Well, I was trying to. School, work, and studio? The problem would start when I would get home at 10. 45. Right, right. Then my mama's livid. Like, see, I told you. And I'm like, mama, you sometimes you don't get it done. You know, she didn't get it. So, um, I, I know I switched names on y'all, but he switched his name. Shoot. Deja slash London mm-hmm. moved to uh, California and left me. I was staying with the mama, renting the room. <laughs> left me. And he was like sending pictures back. Y'all remember we had to print, you remember we had to take the pictures and you had to wait to get them uh, developed. developed. Yeah. Then you yeah. had to mail them. Yeah. Then you had to mail them out. He was sending me pictures of California saying, man, is this this? I said, I called him, I said, let me tell you something. I paged him, you know what I'm saying? I hit the two way and I said, let me tell you something. You got to come get me. You got to get me out of here. This is not going to work for me. I just felt, I, I was like, I and no, didn't know what I was talking about. I didn't have anybody. My whole family was like, don't call me. Right. Um, you even, were in the room at his mama house. Yeah. Even the younger ones, my younger cousins that didn't even understand what was going on, they didn't have a choice. They, right. they grew up not liking me because Damn. of their parents saying, yeah. She fast, or she ran off, or so whatever. You, you was like, you, it's like damn near like black Amish. Oh, for you sure. You know when they leave the, when they leave the shit. For like, sure, for sure. Like you, so once you leave. luckily, this man got me a ticket to California. Okay, I get there. I never forget. He had an apartment in the Avalon and Woodland Hills. I ain't never seen nothing like it. I was like, this is crazy. Avalon, it's a target. Still there. Right. Still right? Still there. <laughs> That's the first still place there. I went to when I got when I left LAX. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. You know what I mean? I was a target across the street. Like, I'm, I made it. So it's now. It's a target across the street. I made, I made it. it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I got to back up a little bit, though, because before I left and really jumped on a plane to go to um, California, I, I went to visit Atlanta, and I did my noontime <laughs> hey, shout out to noon. Shout out to noon. I did my noon time time. Okay. Yeah, okay. And okay. I got the call from Destiny's Child when they broke up. I could have been fairer. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got the call. Like, yo, it's an audition well, how right about you now. Been Michelle who I could have been fairer. <laughs> yeah, you probably would have got kicked out. Yeah, y'all y'all got know kicked damn out. well. Yeah, y'all know me. You got kicked out. Got kicked Cheers, Farrah. Mm-hmm. I got the call. <laughs> I got people. the call when Destiny's Child broke up. I got the call when they was trying to replace Mila in 702. And I would be the girl that everybody would call to, right. like, and I'm like, no, I love 702. Like, I can't do that. You know, even though I didn't even know them. I got them. some of those phone calls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? Being, yeah, the, random, the co- yeah, Remember, yeah. you know. I, took, I actually took some meetings. I, you know, I, I might have they took some like, meetings. They was like, nigga, too. you too smart. 
<laughs> you know too much. We don't we want trying to get you. Yeah, they're like, you trying yeah, they're to like, get, we don't want you. I'm you like, so wait, so percent. do I have to pay back the budget that they've already incurred? <laughs> right. Oh, no. They were like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, get him out of here. Out. I said, so are my solo rights? Nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> you talking too soon. Oh, you got too nigga. much information. Ooh. Oh, you got too much information. Way too much. That, that, yeah, no. Man. <laughs> so I did my noontime time. I was... I went through the, you know, skipped over the the Destiny Child thing and all mm-hmm. the other stuff. Another group, y'all know Tr uh, Terry Ross. Terry Ross. Oh, Terry right. Ross uh, hit up uh, London. Was like, yo, I got the girl group. Just lost my lead singer. I heard you got a girl. Now I'm in that group. What I think they called it Sir Jane. Okay. A girl named uh, Dina and Shira and Tanisha. So we was in noon time okay. working. That's when I met JQ. Okay. okay. What year was JQ? This? I don't Give know. Me a year. Dang, I don't know. JQ, we want to get JQ on the phone. I don't know. I okay. was just living. Okay. I was in a whirlwind. You know what right. I mean? I was like, I yeah. made it. I'm in ATL. Yeah. Like, I made before Jack. you get to LA. Oh yeah. This is this is okay. my journey to LA. Kinda. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like at this point, I'm gone. I'm out of Houston. I ain't going back. Are you okay? Even 18 yet? No. Mm-mm. That's I'm like crazy. 17. Nobody's now. checking on you. Mm-mm, no, no. I didn't speak to anybody in my family for like three years straight. What? I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you when. Years, oh yeah, sixteen Shit. out. Get out of here with the dog Crazy. and the snake. <laughs> it's like anybody want to buy child <laughs> <laughs> and a cobra because Man. I don't have anywhere to live. So yeah, what? I'm in. I'm in ATL with with me working with Jazzy Faye and um um. Uh, Teddy TR, Bishop? Teddy Bishop, mm-hmm. working with Teddy. Working Donnie Scans, you did um, Donnie Scans work? Young Jay Detox. Austin. Yeah, the, everybody. Yeah, like, they yeah. was, you know, that's the first time I was told, I, you know, I remember um, Teddy was like, yo, you and Aaliyah sound so much alike in the booth. It's crazy to me. And I was like, I had to have been there. You were there. You were there. I had to be. They wrote all of our songs. Okay. All of our songs. JQ, Too Hot to Go Home. I'll never forget that song. That song too got me in trouble. Too Hot to Go got, Home. Too Hot to Just Go Home. Hot. Donnie yeah. is the first person that made me hate the studio. <laughs> Donnie will make you record a verse a hundred times in a row. He said, oh, I'm going to yeah. keep them all. I'm going to keep them all. And I'm going to do what I do when y'all go home. I right. About that life. An hour later, after singing that same verse, I hated that song. But any comping it, vocals, comping, comping, no way. Um, Jazzy Faye, I did my first like crazy little diss track record. You know, while I was feeling myself. Anyway, long story short, we did a bunch of meetings with the group. We didn't the meetings. Nobody was trying to sign us. So okay. that's when it's like it's not like the was group y'all broke weak? up. Was y'all weak? Keep it funky. As you look back now. Right? Just, just, just keep going. Was y'all weak? Yeah, it was something missing. Yeah, it was weak. Okay. It was something, something missing. missing. Okay. Because y'all, y'all know we had the records. That's very political. We had the records. That's y'all know political. we ran through That's noontime and took the records. That's very political. In my mind, that just says y'all was weak. I remember sitting in a meeting like. Did everybody mm. look good? Yeah. It was, uh, it, that's, was a, that's, it was that could be a problem. Everybody that could was getting knocked down. Everybody in the group was getting knocked down. That could be a problem. <laughs> everybody was getting knocked down. By the same guy, except me. I came in like, oh, y'all, it's something going on. What y'all doing? Okay. But, um, love y'all. Uh, <laughs> Fuck! So we went to, you know, it was, it was, a, it was, a, listen, we, ladies, if y'all listening Call to this, we can talk me. about this. Call me, DM me. We can set, we can come yes, right back set. here. There's more <laughs> that laces there's, on the couch. There's a whole lot of seats. Y'all and we can, can figure out the entanglements <laughs> that, that broke up the group, okay? But I remember sitting in a meeting like, come on, y'all, like, y'all, we gotta, I remember knowing you need to walk into the room and captivate. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right, you need right, to walk right. to the room and, but that was me being a Southern Belle, like, how y'all doing? Yep, I sing. And, you know, and they would kind of be like, mm-hmm, mm. You know, I don't know if it was the L.A. on them. You know, it was the L.A. girls. They had the fresh press, and I was in there with the country curls. You know, I don't know. But I went through a situation in that group where they kind of said they wanted to sign me mm. after the meeting. And I was mm-hmm. like, ooh, that was my first encounter with that. That was EMI at the time. Oh, no, it was just straight capital at the time. That freaked me out. I didn't take the deal. I was like, no, that's not wrong. That's not loyalty. You know, at the, I, you know, I come from Houston. I'm like, no, nah, you don't do that. You stick with your gang. They, I came in there with them. I'm not turning the deal down. So, group just dissolved. I don't even. I want to ask Terry, what happened? Why, why we ain't keep going? You know, I don't know. We're gonna bring T.R. So in here, and we're gonna. It ask. was right. We're gonna ask. I ended up in another group with Mila J. and Miyoko. 
um, Janae's, mm -hmm. you know, other y'all yeah. y'all know, but yeah. everybody don't know. So it's Janae, Miyoko, and Jamila. That's the three sisters. Um, this is soon as I um, arrived when I arrived in LA for the first time. Like what I so now mind you, when he got me a ticket to LA, I thought I was coming to visit. You know, I'm like, it's no way I'm gonna stay. Like right. I think I'm coming to visit. I'm gonna try it out. Now in my mind, I'm gonna do everything I can to stay here. Right. You know what I mean? But it's like, okay, come see what it's like. I met Mila J and um, uh, Miyoko and Mama Tina at Fridays. My first, soon as I got off the plane, um, that was exciting. They just took me in. Like Mama Tina was really a mother to me. That was the first time in a long time that I was like, oh my God, like she give me hugs. She's like, baby, you need to try this conditioner on your hair. You looking a little dry. And I was like, okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. We end up getting swept back to ATL. We, I think they called us Remix to do some meetings. Um, we went back to ATL as a group, the three of us. Um, I remember us staying in hotels with the boys, um, Immature. Janae was there. We was just like, you know, a, a little, a yeah. little unit. We would all be just, we would all have one floor at the hotel or the motel or whatever we was at. Look, let me not talk too big. You know, we ain't had the money yet. And we was just thugging it out, recording songs. I thought the songs was great. Some of them are on YouTube somewhere. And we did a couple of meetings we'll and it just, just really, really yeah. didn't go. Remix, Remix. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna look for those. Really didn't go. Those are my hearts though. Like from that group, I really have relationships still to this day we still see each other you know what i mean and i and the love is still there it's oh yeah. my god mama teen mila like them my girls i love them like what they were for me when i first came to la nobody you know can replace that they yeah. really took me in as i was their sister period yeah um their brother brothers too um so didn't really go anywhere we did do a meeting um i did hear something about them wanting to sign me i can't do that again this is not this is not it. I, we did. I think we did a we did a showcase. We performed. Uh, I wasn't much of a dancer at the time, and they was going crazy. And I was like, "What are these counts of eggs? Like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what are these counts of eggs? I think, <laughs> I think we opened for I've Jagged had a Edge, like that. <clears throat> right? Because they were going in. You okay? Like mm -hmm. we gotta compete with Sierra. Let's go. You know what I mean? The princess. That's she wasn't Sierra then. It was just princess then. And um, I remember we opened for Jagged Edge, and uh, it was Max Goose. Max Goose was standing on the side of the stage Shout pointing at me. I'm telling on you, Max remember. He was like, you the next Adina. You the next Adina. And I was like, really? And I'm dancing. Adina, like, yeah. Adina <laughs> yeah, he told me that. Max told me I was the next Adina. And we're performing. What kind I'm of feeling, freaky moves was you doing on stage? I, I was just dancing. You know, I was like, listen, when you lose the count of eight, Get your freak off. Just go into a back that back thing up no contest. It wasn't a twerk then. It was yeah. back yeah. that <laughs> thing up contest immediately, and everybody forgot that I wasn't doing what I everybody else was doing. For Dana okay, speaking see, of work for what, hire, what was you doing? I sang some background. Oh, okay, because I, I, I was mean. fifteen. I've been on shows with Adina. Fifteen, singing Adina, Adina Howard Adina. background. What? You Say might less. hear a record. You might hear a record. I met her with Genuine. Genuine introduced me to I Adina. Met I met Genuine. And then. moving on <laughs> to, to uh, back to, to, <laughs> to the freak <laughs> like that. Hey, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> So Shout yes. out to the wine. To the wine. <laughs> the pony man. Pony man. <laughs> Oh my God! So yes, Max Goose was like, "You, you, I'm gonna give you a record there. I'm gonna sign you or whatever." And I'm like, "Oh my God, this is happening again!" You know. So I'm like, it kind of discouraged me from the industry because mm -hmm. I'm, I, I, you it's know, like people just trying to split you up. I just felt like it was gonna make me look crazy that here I am coming into these. Mind you, the groups are already a group. Lost the lead singer. I'm coming right. in as the lead singer, and now. You know, and I never wanted to get a deal based off of I went to a meeting with somebody else and stole their deal or whatever. Right. Right. So right. Right. that discouraged me. Went I'm, now I'm I'm still in California, just chilling. Um, I heard about a showcase. Shout out to the days of the showcases. You showcase know what I mean? Used to be real. Showcase. Used to be real. I heard about a showcase. Um, London and I ran across these kids on the street. I was a kid too at the time, but. Ran across these kids on the street just playing with buckets. They was just play. Was a band. They was like, we're a band. We do our thing, and they were so dope to me. And I was like, yo, it's a showcase coming up. Y'all want to perform together? And they was like, all right, cool. So we did that. Perform. It was this little hole in the wall spot. No AC. I went in there. I had on some. I still. I think I still got them pictures to this day. I had on some mess that I found <laughs> various places. Hair colorful. Mm -hmm. Um. 
had my own band, went in there, went crazy. The band that was on the street? Mm hmm Okay, had my own band. Had okay. my own All right. band. I had my own. I went in there. Did I was like, give me a the, beat. Did they come in there with Jackson the bus? Jackson said that, and it did worked. Uh-huh. They, uh -huh. the they had just they had whatever. Hey, I would, you I know what? If that. I walked in there and I saw some young kids performing, and it was the kid with the bucket, and it was that. a spoon and a fork, and a, it was whatever. Right, they had all kind of stuff they was making noise with. And I said, Janet Jackson said, give me a beat. And I was like, it worked for Janet, so I'm going to say it. I said that I sung like three songs. Now, mind you, I'm in California. I'm from Houston where they dance and they clap and they participate. Right. I, I was done with my last song. I was like, <sighs> And they was looking at you we like we looking at you. Huh? Silent. I was like, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> Me looking at them crickets. <laughs> I was like, wow. So That's I got, what it was too back in the day. Ain't nobody showed no emotion. I was like, what? Yo, so I got off. I got off the stage, and I think uh, Pete Former was there. Pete Jeez. Former. He probably had the face at the time. Pete Former, and I, I forgot the other guy that was there. And I walked out into the hall, and I remember Pete just kind of looking like, "Oh, I, I think it went well. Not sure, you know." <laughs> and I had met Pete before, but it was just I didn't know what he do. I didn't understand the music industry in these positions. The I didn't know if it was right. a good thing or a bad thing or what. If you were lying to me, I don't know. So I walked out in the hall, and sure enough, I, I turn around, I'm like in tears, and these two guys walked up, and it was Matt Serletic and Josh, Josh Deutsch, and he said, we're going to sign you. We're going to make you a big, you're going to be a big star. And I was like, what? And he was like, here, take the card, the card. Yeah. <laughs> Come to this address. We're going to meet with you. Went to the address. There was Capitol, the big building. Mm. I was like, oh, my God, this is real. This is a real thing. How old are you this is a real thing. Time? I am... Let's see, uh, 18. <clears throat> so now I'm just, yeah, 18. Okay. Because, yeah, when uh, when Girl Fight finally hit, I was, actually, no, 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 let me think. I had to be 19 Okay. when I actually went there and everything. So, but then I might be off on and my that's time. The thing, it might though, be the Rose. Like, people don't understand. By that time, you had been in multiple groups. Right. Three. Been kicked out your house. Oh, yeah. Sang Hooks for 100. Yeah. yeah. That's the new shit, too. Hooks mm -hmm. for 100. Hooks for 100. Hooks for 100. Um, I, I'm sure you don't no have the dog hooks. and the snake no more. The <laughs> uh, dog and the snake no more. Dog and the snake gone. Big boy, I loved you, Chino. <laughs> Big boy. I'm sorry it had to end. Oh, God. <laughs> P.O.P. <laughs> Whoever took care of my dog. Right? Like, like people really think. That it just one day you decide to sing, the next day you got a record deal, or the next day you got a song on the radio. Oh no! And Which mind you, I'm out here fighting, now. fighting, fighting. Little light skin, and this is this is not what I call myself. Light skin girl with good hair, fighting all the t fighting somebody every day. I felt like, why do you want to? What is wrong with y'all? Jeez, everywhere I go, some girl want to fight me. I'm like, oh, all right, I gotta. And then that that started, the fight thing started back home because I was the oldest cousin, the oldest sister. So mm -hmm. anytime somebody pick on my little sister or brother or push them over, I got to go out there and, and represent for the entire family that you can't continue to do this. Right, right. So I'm out there like, oh, she big. I got to kill her. Because if I don't <laughs> I kill, her, kill her, she going to push over everybody else in the fifth. She beat me up, right. then I'm about to get laughed at. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I'm the oldest. So it's just a, a fight. I'm just fighting for my life. I'm fighting London's girlfriends because he still got. He oh, you came, all of them too. He didn't came to L. A. and he got seven. He got a he got a new batch. Yeah. So mind yeah. you, he's yeah. getting he's getting hey. ready. <laughs> he's getting ready to send me back to Houston because in his mind he like oh nah. you fucking up the program. No, he had a one bedroom at the Avalon. He like uh. I remember sitting in the living room like well. Bye. <laughs> 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 okay. How you doing, girl? Cool. I've heard so much about you. No. Yes, girl. All right. Let me turn the TV up. Just, I remember, you know, I remember. So, you know, <laughs> and that's that's coming from home to, yeah, yeah. you know, to watching him do his thing. So, they, right there, they did it. Right there, demo deal. Right there. Demo deal. The demo deal. Uh-huh, with Virgin Records. Virgin Master Records. Master and Josh Dewey, wow. who later um, started Downtown Records. I was, were, were we at Virgin at the same time? When did, when did Girl Fight come out? I think so, oh, 2005? No, I was wrong. It was later? I was wrong. <laughs> I was earlier. I was earlier. Oh, I was, okay. I was 2001. Okay, all right. And, yeah, 2001, yeah. Interesting, because I feel like that's when my, my noontime days. Now, I remember when you back. came to the Bay, and they was like, yeah, it's this new girl. Is she kidding to you? Oh, God. I was like. 
hope not. I, <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Nah, a couple nah. of times, so I was like, "Is that your man?" I was like, "Well, I mean, you know what I, mean? <laughs> I mean, I mean, the name association. The name is no, name I association. mean, this is easy. This right. seems easy to me, Hilarious. you know. But got my deal, um, demo deal. They sent me to Sweden to work with Bloodshot and Avant. Immediately, I freaked out. I got to get a passport. Up. They put some money in my. I had seventy six dollars when I signed my deal. Seventy two dollars and something cent. Because yeah. I pawned a ring that I had. That's he how I had really the money. out here hustling. Oh, my oh. God. Broke. Broke had nothing. Like, I pawned the ring, had $72. I remember sitting there with the $72, and my cell phone bill was $42. And I'm like, I got to I gotta eat, and I got to pay the yeah, cell phone yeah. bill. So I paid the cell phone bill. I went to the grocery store, and I got the Celeste pizzas. Y'all mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? For They're sure. a dollar. And some noodles. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, my God, I don't know, like, how this music stuff work, and I don't know what I'm going to do. And I went to, I, I guess I overdraft or whatever. So I went to the ATM, like, let me see how bad the damage is. I don't know what happened between me walking from that grocery store. And every, anybody that knows that part of Woodland Hills with a grocery store, the, the bank is literally right there. I walked from the grocery the store to, uh -huh, to, to the, the ATM. Right there on Topanga? Uh-huh, by the coffee bean and yeah. all of that. Mm -hmm. And... Boom, fifty thousand dollars in my account. Woo wee! I was like, <laughs> Mama, Uncle, <laughs> <laughs> let me tell Try you what you don't know. You, <laughs> you slept on me, oh. uh, but I got. Oh, and didn't ha get hit by nobody. Still got my dignity and pride. Hello. Yeah, yeah. So money, I was like, oh, put these Celeste pizzas back. <laughs> put yeah. that steak to that. Give me the rotisserie chicken. Right. <laughs> 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 I was tripping. That so, one that you just been watching. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> that would be right though. <laughs> so go to go to Sweden. I guess I did a good job with my demo deal. Came back with great songs. They liked them. They were all rock and roll, though. I have oh. to say that. It was rock and roll songs. It was pop rock. I, I did pop rock music at my showcase. It was all pop rock music huh. that I was doing. That's what I was into. So I was you, uh, were you not signed to a production company? <clears throat> or you were? I was signed to Subliminal, but that was literally okay. me in London. Right. So we just, it was ever. So he wasn't doing the records, though. He was doing the records, and I did have R&B records, but my showcase with the band that I pulled off the street, all mm -hmm. they knew were pop rock records. So I would just sing over what they knew. I got it. So I got my deal. The, the moment uh, they saw me, yeah. that's yeah. what I was doing. Yeah. I wasn't doing my R&B stuff. I wasn't doing okay. anything from Remix or Surgeon. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It was, that's what they saw. So for a lot of people that don't know the story, that explains how my first album, Chain Letter, went the way it went. It was so, like, what is this? You know what I mean? You had Girl Fight, and then you had a rock record, and then you had a pop record, and it was like, what? But they didn't know, like, I kinda, not on purpose, because I didn't know any better, set myself up for that. Immediate, like, they sent me to Sweden to work with Bloodshine and Avant, right. yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So when I came back, and I had meetings with them. They was like, this little ghetto girl. It was like, they got to when I did the big you. round table right, meeting, right. they were like, I remember them like whispering to each other and talking about my hair. And at the time, yeah, they hired Chaka. <laughs> they hired Chaka, who was, you know, with J and B now. Chaka, and uh, she came on and she was like, yeah, they hired me to get you together and figure you out. Like, cause they, we don't know what to do with you. You know, and a lot came with that. You know, I was told I was too light-skinned to, to do ghetto music, and, you know, I needed to tan, so I started tanning every day. I was burning myself up. So now people think that I bleach, and I'm like, no, now I'm just regular. I was in the tan bed probably three times a week trying no to way. be brown enough to be as ghetto as I was. And these are whatever. white people telling you that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was like, eh, you just need wanted, to. I just wanted to. Yeah, yeah, right away they told me I was I needed to tan. They was like, tanning is the new thing. You see Ashanti? Like, she's, you know, toasted. And I'm like, mm, okay, well, she is. You know what I mean? I guess, you know. And um, they told me a couple of things. And they I needed to drop, like, 27 pounds. I'll never forget the 27. I was like, okay, because I liked my, you know, in Houston. Seven. In Seven, Houston, though. you, you know. Some cake on you. You had a little, yeah. in Houston, yeah. it was okay to have a little chunk. Uh -huh. So I did that, dropped the weight or whatever, and then um, I came back, and I, I don't know who had the meeting about me going to 
Atlanta to work with Little John. But it was like, we let's see what she does over there, mm -hmm. you know. And this was after Sweden. Mm -hmm. After Sweden, yeah, after I did those records. So actually, hold on, stop. I just skipped the part. You got to, it's, it's been a while, I'm old. I went to Atlanta first and I worked with Tricky. Yeah. I worked with yeah. Tricky first. Yeah. I worked with Tricky and Dream um, first. And um, we did a couple of records. And I think that was the, like, maybe we don't know this girl, you know, because right. we were in there yeah. talking crazy, right. Right, you know, right. with those records. And um, it was just just really ghetto, okay? Really nice, really colorful and ghetto. And then it was like, maybe we should put her, we hearing about this new guy named Little, call herself Little John, and let's, let's see what she does. And I was supposed to go to Atlanta to work for him. Got to Atlanta, and he wasn't there. Okay. So I don't know nothing about that. I'm like, what you mean he's not here? Because I'm here. Because oh, y'all sent yeah. me here. He's like, nah, I'm in yeah. Florida. Listen. I'm in Miami. He might have been a king of diamonds. Right? Just, Ain't no telling. Just, I waited on Timberland for five days. Oh God! Oh, so you feel me? Five days. You feel me? That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. That's how it goes. He said, "I understand that you in ATL, but I'm in Miami. I'm on the boat. Mm, what I do? Boat. You wait. I on. get. Uh, I got on the plane and I went to Miami. Like where you at? Hey, I want to be on the boat too. Because hey, I, I got fifty thousand in my right. account. You know? I, I got a budget. To you. And I got a budget. And I got a budget. I called the company like, hey, I don't know what y'all talking about, but I'm just in a hotel in ATL. And he said he's in Miami. So they said, all right, let's get her to Miami. I get there. He's on the boat. <laughs> he's <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> I'm on the boat in London. I don't care. Like, at this point, people, like, me and London have a son together. So that's the, that you don't. Ladies, just handle your business. You don't mix the business with the pleasure, okay? As you and I'll drink to that. Drink. You just don't do it, ladies. <laughs> I thank God for my son, but geez, did I complicate my life. Yeah. That was way later. So at this point, you know, it's like, what what can I do to control this girl? Because you know, I'm I'm out here, and you know, I'm um something to talk about. This new little, you know, little new little chick, you know, that's doing her thing. So a couple of you know rappers are asking about me and you know stuff like before, that. This is before Instagram too. This is when oh you yeah, just when you got to make a real phone call, real inquiry. Oh yeah, you got a real inquiry. Uh huh. You yeah. got the the girl, the the little girl that works at the desk at the company, like. Um, so and you know, uh, so and so's in the other room, and he wanted to know. You know, I'm like, oh, he did. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all of that. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, um, Bobby Valentino is in the other room. He wants to know. I'm like, oh, okay. I guess I'll be. You know, it's just right, like whatever. Right. Yeah. So it's all of that. So we we're on the boat, and Lil John is giving me a hard time. He is just like, what's gonna make me want to work with you? Why should I? I'm like. Wow, like I need to audition. I didn't know. I thought we was just going to work together. I didn't yeah. know I had to come out there and prove to him that you were worthy. I was yeah. good enough yeah. to work yeah. with him. So first of all, he was not trying to get in the studio with me. He's like, we're going to be on this boat until you show me something. Come on, little John. So Make it work. I'm on the boat. Um, I'm just walking around, just taking in the sights. Uh, I'm walking, trying to find a bathroom. It's a big boat. The door flies open. Pitbull in there doing his thing. I was like, this is my first time really seeing a porno in real life. This is, this is, <laughs> <laughs> so this is what a threesome looks like. This is I, I didn't I didn't know that I was gonna find this out today. Turn up. You know what I mean? The girl come out, she's like, you got it in my hair. And I'm like, oh, this is, <laughs> this is Yes. I shout didn't mean to, to meet shout you. Out to shout out to hey, I'm a fan oh. of your work. I didn't mean to meet you in this you way. Shake his but hand too? You, no, I didn't you. <laughs> gave some of this, you gave <laughs> hey guys, carry on. All right, yeah. you know, like y'all know, I'm fresh out. I'm the country Shit. bunking. Like, oh yeah, no crime mobs on the boat. Um, Scrappy's on the boat. It, you know, it's just it's it's a good time. Yeah, yeah. So and they all looking at me like, why should we let you in? You know what I mean? So I go upstairs. I'm now I'm looking for my person. Like, did he really leave me? Like my security not here? Like, what so you had that? a label rep with you? Yeah, I had a label not on the boat though. Just okay. uh, we had security because uh, London was crazy, and he that's that's that's, that's his that's his interview. Okay, that's, that's his interview. Yeah. While we had security well, right, everywhere had, we went, you had security. You had no. no he had out. security, but I was with him, so you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you get to it. We you had security everywhere we went. Yeah. And, right. another, you know, another, I can dig it. I can dig it. I don't, you know what I mean? Like going on. Like yeah, going it was. On. It was. You know, life was great. You know, all the girlfriends. All the girlfriends. Not just music. Okay. You know what I mean? So I'm upstairs. I'm like, yo, anybody? Like, what's up? So I get up there. I'm looking. Little John, he was like, 
your boy in the bathroom. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, which way is the bathroom? He's like, right there. Open the door. They busting down. Lil John's assistant and him going crazy in the bathroom. I'm like, this can't be life. So I just, she had no hair. She had like one of the little short buzz cuts. So I'm like, damn, I can't pull her hair. I just start choking her out. Like, let's just go. <laughs> because I don't understand. Like, at this point, I'm up against the wall. I want a record. I love it. I want a record. But she's little John's Diamond assistant. and Princess eyeballing me like they want to fight. Scrappy don't like me. I saw Pitbull's penis. I don't know what's going on. Like, well, I don't just, I just. I had enough. Like, I don't I don't know what's going on. I'm out of my element. You know what I mean? I just, just started being, nah. you know. So everybody clapping. Shit. I get my record. I get my record. <laughs> Who would have thought that all I had to do was choke, was choke was all out. Crazy. Was Wayne Brady. It was Wayne Brady. <laughs> he turned that boat around and we went straight to the studio. Straight to the studio. He started making the beat and it was like, come on, do something. Go. Start writing girl fight, whatever. I was and that was the vibe. That was the energy. Wow. You know what I mean? So we we did the record. That's great. And he was, he gave me such a hard time. He was like, um, and I'm like, you should, you know, you know, little Southern girls, we got all the confidence in the world. Like, all right, so you gonna jump on it? He like, ha, that's a whole nother check. You know what I mean? He was like, nah. So I'm like, dang, that's crazy. So <laughs> <laughs> mind you, and I know every- That yeah, of course. Right. Everybody know how he used to work. So this is not, you know, you, you doing interviews, like it's certain things you say and certain things you don't say. Everybody knew that there was porn on like six different flat screens and a mattress for you to go sing behind. That's how he worked, period. Everybody knew. I know everybody was, it wasn't a secret. It wasn't right. no secret location. Mm. Everybody was walking in and out. I'm just in there like, yo, this is, cra this is crazy. I would have definitely got kicked out. <laughs> from my mom and them if they knew this, this part of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Everything he was they like, warned you about that. Yeah, he, it, it, he was like, what's wrong said, with you? Get behind, get behind the mattress and do the rough. I'm like, all right. Okay, I, okay I'm okay. So I go do the rough. He's like, ah, something ain't right about the sound. I don't know if it's the AC or whatever. We got to go to a real st studio and do it. So we book another studio. I go in there. I do the vocals, you know, clean or whatever. And I leave and we go eat. And I come back and I have been blessed. He heard the record. He loved it. He jumped on it. He jumped on the record. He went in there. He what? You know what I'm saying? Hey. That happened. Go back to um, California. Play the record for the company. They're all excited. I can feel the energy of my life about to change. Like, y'all really like this record? Because yeah. there's a lot more where that came from. I'm like, can I be myself? Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I can do this. So time passed. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. I remember signing papers, giving away all my publishing. <laughs> okay. I remember sitting in a CLK, saying, signing some long paper that said so many other people was in the studio that wasn't there when I wrote the song. But okay, I didn't understand it. You know what I mean? And I, I signed the paper because I'm like, I was told if you want to be a big star, you need to sign this paper. I was like, really? It's like, how much do I get? And I say, I see 50, and I see a six. And, you know, I see all these big numbers, and I got five. I just got five. I don't know what this means, but it don't and seem wrote, right to you me. you wrote the entire lyric and melody? Not the entire record. London wrote with me, and we did take, like, a B section from a song that we did when we worked with Tricky in ATL. And I think that's when it got tricky. Uh, because now you got, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, that Everybody was, that was, attached to that that was inspired by yeah, a, a, yeah. a beat I made, and right, then right. they started fighting. And I'll tell you, Girl Fight went into the black list because of this. It's, I don't, I ain't seen a dime. <laughs> I've gotten paid from other things, but that publishing, right. that was a joke. It was so many people fighting over the guitar play. It was just so much stuff. I just remember hearing all the, and I don't know what's true. But I remember hearing a lot of stuff. You ain't seeing no money because so and so, right. um, you know, Won't didn't sign like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was all of that. And I, I signed for my five. I said, "What's the problem, guys? I should be the I just one." Need my five percent fighting. Right. Right. So I remember that day. I remember sitting in the Mercedes, little the little Mercedes, signing over, and I remember feeling like, "Dang, this this kind this don't feel good." You know what I mean? Yeah. To like work that hard and then. Five just didn't seem good. Just didn't right, seem like right, a good number when you right. saw other, you know, big numbers up there. So did that. I was kind of down, kind of forgot about it. It was quiet, calling a record company, couldn't get them on the phone. Like, hey, guys, you know, hey, you know, am I still going to be a big star? So I was like, let me just, let me 
take a take a back seat. So I was gonna go to Houston and I heard I needed to rub elbows with the the DJs in Houston. They was like, you need to go home to where you came from and you know what I mean, make sure it's Mixer cool. Mixer meetings. Yeah. yeah, make sure it's cool out there. So we land, we in a car, I'm riding in a car, or the song come on. And I'm like, ugh, I'm irritated with London. I'm like, you keep playing the song over and over again. Like, we heard, now I'm irritated. Like, it just needs to be on the radio. He was like, right. it's on the radio. <laughs> it's on the radio, and I hear it, right? And I, big boy comes in. I'm like, hold on. Like, my cheeks hurt. Like, wait, 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 wait. Is that big boy from Outkast on my song? Like, is, is this really happening? I'm screaming, about to lose my mind, lost so my you didn't voice. you know he's on the song? No, I did not know big boy was going to be on the record until I heard it on the radio. No way. Like, oh, then, snap. Then, then, I was like, oh, did, my did God. Did your five get chopped down even more <laughs> after that? Like, two and a half. Now you, you got to get I, big boy his, you know what I mean? He need his whole thing. <laughs> big boy and Little John is on my first scene. Wow. That's crazy. And I'm back home in Houston. And they playing it on the radio. Talk to me nice. And it's on the radio. I go to the radio station. They love me. They like, yeah, we remember. You you know, you was at Rap a lot and blah, blah, blah. And we didn't know who you were. And man, I heard you on this song and all of that stuff. And then it's just like, it just, you know, it just goes from there with with the BS. (laughs) But I mean, just out of nowhere and they they said they said the record leaked they wasn't prepared we didn't have art for it Artwork, i had right, to right. go they rushed me to work with jonathan uh to get pictures Manion? yeah oh my God. jonathan man they my, was putting you they was putting you with all the everybody yeah that's the one thing of, of this story oh yeah i was i was with them <laughs> To work with was the real yeah, people. Like they put you in a spot. Oh yeah. I can only imagine what your budget was. Um, you definitely yeah. didn't recoup. Um, <laughs> me. Um, Let me get him this drink. So, <laughs> <laughs> so oh, you know Lord. what? Fuck the publishing. Was, you ain't recoup anyway. Yeah. 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 Put okay. me with Jonathan. Yeah. Um, immediately put me with Chris Robinson to shoot the video. Of course. John the man, Chris Robinson, Lil mean, John, I mean, look, I big mean, boy from Outkast. Shut ATL yeah. Yeah, down, yeah. got all the permits to shut it down, the freeway, everything just went crazy. I, I know we spent a million dollars on the video, and back then I was like, are you really? Yeah, that's, what, that's what Chris was getting. I had to give it to him myself. I'm on that's there. I'm like, getting. yo, goody mob here. I never made like, it to I'm... that point. <laughs> I, always, I wanted to know how much money was being spent. Right? Uh, well, y'all want to get who? <laughs> you know we have... <laughs> Segment of our show. Talk to mm-hmm. I don't know if you're ready for it. Oh gosh. I don't, you know. I think you, I got you, myself. Take a deep breath, real quick. Tonight. Yeah, yeah. You, you listen. You just said you, you said a few things. I'm terrible. You said a few <laughs> things, <laughs> but and with some names attached to it. Group calling. So yeah. Oh the group god. I'm you. sorry, ladies. We but can't this <laughs> story has to. Okay, so the segment is called "I Ain't Saying No Name." Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And. uh it's something about you, y'all loving hip hops, man. Y'all like to say names, man. Shit. <laughs> no, it's like, I'm Shout a- out to uh, <laughs> hit maker uh, Young Berg. Berg. <laughs> that nigga just could not tell he a story without saying names. No, he wow. couldn't pull it off. He had to. He said, I got oh to. And I got to be 100. And I got to say the names. <laughs> like, oh, bro, it's not. Okay. So, <sighs> those are the rules of the game mm-hmm. of the segment to not say any names and tell us a funny or fucked up story. Okay. Industry related, industry people, and you could say enough for people may, you know, they could try to figure some shit out, but oh. it's called I Ain't Saying No Name. Oh my lord, this is terrible. So, okay. Give us one. Oh lord, I got so many. Mm 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 mm. Come on, take your time then. <sighs> can I tell a two part story real fast? I can make it fast. Yeah, I know women I'm can be long with you do it. I ain't saying no names, but uh, it's a certain female. She really tall. She got real short hair. She looked banging for her age. I walked in to the, I would say the apartment that I was sharing with my baby daddy at the time. And she was in the bed, but naked. That's the one part. I ain't saying no names, but there's another female. (laughs) She was in a movie that we all love. This movie has a lot of sequels to it. It's a one, two, three, four. Okay, she real cute. She got a boo, little cutie with a booty. Um, she was 
I would say I don't want to say she was dating the guy that I was with at the time. She was blowing him off because I heard she was good at that. Um, I don't even think they got to the point of actual, you know, mm -hmm. the meeting and the greeting. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of like, you get down there and do what I heard you was good for. Yeah. But that's just my side of the story, girl. You can come to the couch and tell it because you know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are, sis, because you still be telling your jacked up side of the story. You're talking about I'll be trying to jump you. And you know I don't be trying to jump you when I see you. How am I trying to jump you when I see you when it's just me by myself? When you trying to jump somebody, that means it's several people. It just be me running up on you, girl. Okay? Mm. So, anyway. I love you. So, up on her to this day? Just. <laughs> to this day? <laughs> to this day! Not a run up. Okay. I walk swiftly. But What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> hey girl. What's happening? Hey girl. And she's like, Brooke, I always try to jump me when she see me. I'm not trying to jump you. It's just me. And I make sure I tell my girl, stand back right quick. All right, all right. But anyway, this young lady was at a beauty shop getting her hair done by a celebrity hairstylist. I ain't gonna say no names because she do all of our hair. Mm. And she was talking mad noise. She was like, I don't know who she thinks she is. She just be coming up in the studio because the, the dude I was talking to, we was both talking to, he had a studio at the time. She's like, she just be coming up in the studio like she own it. She gonna have to run me them keys. She gonna have to run me them keys. So I'm like, hmm. So they call me and they tell me, I'm riding in the car, I got my son in the back. I'm like, you good baby boy? All right, call my mama, my mama be, mama, you, you good? You done at the nail shop? She's like, yeah, baby, son. I'm gonna drop the kid off to you. I need to handle something right quick, mama. She said, okay, I'll take, drop my son off. This one I knew I was certified crazy and had to get out the relationship. I found out where she was. She was in the studio at the time. I say, this, the door, this is the, this is the, the keys to the door that you speak of that I'm going to have to run. I just drove my car into the studio. Cause oh, just, this was going. Man, I did, I did not I, think I, that <laughs> this is where it was going. Now, don't nobody need no keys. And I gave her the key. Here's the key to the door. I just, the door is under the car. And they sitting there. What is wrong with your friend? They sitting there looking at me crazy. Like I'm crazy. You know what? I ain't going to call you that because I'm not going to call you nothing no smoke. more. We not, we don't oh. have, now we don't have to talk about this door no more, oh, sis. We ain't got to worry about this door. And who God. got a key and who walking through this door like they own it. Oh. No the more. The door's now, open now. The door is <laughs> the door's We was right in NoHo. We was right in NoHo by that bus stop. Just, oh. you know. And y'all know Range Rovers, they really oh. built for it tough. They built for it. Because yeah. what? My, yeah, I drove out and went they home. They are off-road vehicles. So I drove good. out and went home and got the baby milk and everything. Like, ooh, they kind of tore that door you up. You are a I, I think that's a great way to, to you know, that's wrap, a great way to wrap it up. Yeah. Um, Brooke Valentine. Brooke, My Valentine. DMs. Brooke Valentine, ladies and gentlemen. My DMs are uh, open if you want to talk. Uh, <laughs> she's still throwing <laughs> shots out. That's down Brooke down. Valentine. Knocking those down. <laughs> Ain't that a that's, Houston record? <laughs> that's, the, that's Brooke Valentine in the Army Money Podcast. I ladies told y'all not to let me talk. We're going to get out of here. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. I'm Brooke Valentine. And this Valentine. is Brooke Valentine, and this has been the R&B Money Podcast. Amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, yeah. R&B Money.